I am, you guys are so aware that there are consequences to breaking laws that when you drive down the street and say going, you're going down the highway and all of a sudden you see a you see one of those cars on the side of the road one of those uh, whatever color your car your state troopers are in your in your state you see them on the side of the road and all of a sudden what do you do you let off the gas and you look at your speedometer and you say oh how fast am i going why do you do that it's because you know that if you're going a certain speed that they are going to pull you over because you have violated law and so you're aware of that and nobody wants to violate law because you have consequences when you violate law so you try to obey the laws of the land you try to obey the laws of your state if you're not supposed to turn right on red or if you're you know we don't fly through red lights uh, here in the United States as a as a normal practice we, we know that if that lights red then there's a law that that light's red you come to a stop and you wait for it to go green there is a law in place and we obey that law because after all we don't want to hurt anybody or get anybody killed and also we don't want to have to pay a fine and, and you know that hits us in our finances so we obey those laws we're obedient to those laws but there is a government that if you serve the Lord God, if you say that you serve the Lord God, if you say that you serve Jesus Christ, there are laws that are in place that he has told us. He's told us, he says, if you love me, you will what? Keep my commandments. And we say that we love the Lord, but when it comes down to it, we, we break his laws on a daily basis and that's what i want to get into i am a i can't continue in this study on prayer until we talk about obedience and that's something that's not preached in a lot of churches and let me explain to you what is what is happening there are there are some dangerous doctrines being preached in a lot of churches there are some dangerous doctrines being preached by a lot of teachers by a lot of evangelists they're being taught and people are flocking to these teachers to these evangelists they're flocking to these pastors these churches the Bible says in the last days they would they would flock towards these people in, in with itching ears. It means they were looking for somebody to scratch their ears to give them exactly what they want. They want to hear a, a, a word, a doctrine that doesn't come against the way they want to live. They want to hear a a doctrine that doesn't cause them to have to change that much. They want to hear a doctrine that will let them do whatever they want and still feel like I'm serving the Lord and I'm still in His good graces. And God has really gotten my attention about this. And I am, I am very troubled by many of the things that I'm seeing and I'm hearing. People that are doing whatever they want to during the week Monday through Friday, they act however they want to, they talk however they want to, they hang around with whoever they want to. They, there's no separation in their life. See, if we are living in the kingdom of God, if God has saved us, and if He has put His Spirit inside of us, and if we are praying, Lord, let Your kingdom come, let Your will be done on earth, earth just as it is in heaven then God is saying I want y'all to pray that I want you to bring heaven to earth he want is he wants his his culture and his nature and he wants the, the community of heaven to impact the earth until earth becomes just like heaven you don't believe me well 
in the end of the days, after 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 everything's happened in Revelation, uh, Revelation chapter 21, it says that he creates a new earth. Why would he create a, a new earth, a renewed earth? Why would he renew the earth if we're all going to be in heaven? Why is he so concerned about making a place for us? Why is he so concerned about that? But we are trying to live however we want to and feel like no matter what, I can do what I want. I can live how I want to during the week. But in the end, I'll still go to heaven. How? How do we get, where do we get this doctrine? Hmm? Where do we get this doctrine from? God wants his culture to impact the earth. If, if I see someone and they're wearing a, uh, what we call a kimono, everyone knows that is a, a cultural outfit or garb that uh, those of, of Japanese culture wear. If I see someone wearing that, I can, I'll, it'll get my attention because I'm used to seeing somebody in jeans and a t-shirt or, or, or a suit. And if I see somebody in that, I'll, the, what pops into your head? Oh, they must be from Japan. Why do you think that? Because of what they're wearing. You can see by their, the way that they talk, the way that they, they speak, you can say, man, there's something different about them. They're, they're from a different place. They're not from here. So let me ask you, where do people think you're from? during the week are you different during the week than you are on sunday morning or sunday evening at church do you have two different roles that you play during the week or are you do you have god living inside of you all the time and you're always reflecting his nature his culture people are supposed to see us and they're supposed to say there's something different about them. Not because we have a big 10-foot Bible under our arm or we're, trying, we're walking around all holier than thou or trying to make sure everybody knows that we serve the Lord. But they hear us in our speaking. They hear our honesty. They hear our humility. They hear how humble we are. They see how we praise the Lord and give thanks to God for things, for even the most insignificant things. And we do it in modesty, not trying to showboat, but we're just so thankful for everything. They, they hear us and they, they don't see us complaining like everyone else or being negative like everyone else. And they look at us and say, there's something different about these people. What is it that's different? We're supposed to be reflecting his nature. We're supposed to be reflecting the culture of heaven. But the problem is that I see people saying, oh, I love the Lord. Praise God. Yes. Oh, yes. God's good. Or I love my church. I, church is great. I, I can't wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. We do that. We do the singing. Yeah, we do clapping. And oh, we have great events. And we have, oh, we have a good time out there. But some of these people, I, I see their lifestyle. I see what they're doing. And I know that God's working on all of us all the time. But there are some things that are so basic, that are fundamentals as kingdom citizens, that we don't want to hurt the Lord. We study. And I've watched some of these people over multiple years and they're still in these same practices still committing these same sins just oh it's oh it's just a white lie oh just an occasional lie here or there we you know you're not really sick but you call in to work and say oh hey, I, i'm sick and we excuse that because after all we have sick time God, God sees that. He knows our hearts. 